so good afternoon um, as you would have realized already I'm, I'm at Redmire for these next couple of days uh, a friend of mine had a five-day trip booked um, and one of the lads could only do three days so they asked me if I wanted to do the last two uh, and obviously I jumped at it um, I got here early this morning had a good walk around the pool uh, saw a couple of areas where fish might have been feeding but not a lot to go on um, but I'm in the evening pitch at the moment when I stood on the dam I could see some fish fizzing out in front of the swim um, so I came around to the swim and stood here for about 20 minutes and saw various patches of bubbles um, good thing is there's nobody opposite in, in the in willow pitch either so um, I think because there's been a bit of pressure you know a couple of other anglers fishing ledge land and bait land and that sort of thing um, perhaps the fish are sitting out here so I've been nice and quiet I've just put some boilies out by hand didn't want too much disturbance especially if there's fish sat out there um, so I've just uh, abated up fairly lightly um, I've set up the house so I've got the rods ready but I haven't put the rods out yet I thought I'd have a little play in, in the margins with some maggots first um, and I've just been catching some gudgeon I've had three so far so a bit of fun but shortly I'm going to get some tea on put the rods out um, and then see what the night brings uh, and I'll report back if anything happens Wow this is beautiful look at this that is a baby red mine mirror. I've just caught that on a couple of white maggots on a float just down the edge. Isn't that unbelievable? That might be the smallest carp ever caught at red mine. But there was a big swell down there. Um, I've been putting some pellets and some maggots in for a little while now while I've been setting this room up. Um, and I had a couple of gudgeon off the spot. And when I just went back to it, there was a big tail pattern. So obviously a carp down there. Um, not necessarily a big one, I mean it might have been sort of like five or six pounder but definitely a carp down there feeding. I dropped the float on it and it went under and uh, I was half expecting it to be the big carp that I'd seen but it was this little chap. Um, but yeah, chuffed a bit for him. That's the future right there. So, it's only the second time I've ever done it but I'm going to count those small little carp, they rev my carp, you know, if I don't catch any, any decent ones before the end of the trip, I'm going to count them. And with this little fella, that completes the rev my trio, gudgeon carp and eel, within a couple of hours. Superb welcome back. <laughs> Got to get this bloater off now. Well, it's been 18 months since I caught a carp from Redmire. Um, the first night of this two day trip, I didn't have anything. Um, just this morning the sun's come out and there are a lot of carp congregating down at the shallow end of the pool. So, uh, so I popped down there uh, to an old spot right at the head of the shallows that I've had some, some success from in the past and freelined some lunch and meat just under a tree. I sat up the tree actually about six foot above the water. Um, and they've been tormenting free for a while but Eventually I've hooked one, I had to jump in and uh, play it from the water. But um, we've got her in. 
There she is. Beautiful fish. Classic red mar coming, no monster, but they're all special from here. Really pleased with that. And what a backdrop too. Look at the other side. That's an amazing fish. Lovely proportions. Look at the shoulders on that. There we go. He's even putting his feet up for you. Tremendous. I'm slipping back off the dam here and see if I can go back and have another one. Fantastic. Well, as you can see, it's pretty hideous out there this morning. The rain started about 7 o'clock. We had some really heavy downpours. It's not so bad right now, but uh, I think it's safe to say we're going to be packing away in the rain, which isn't great. But it's been a great trip. This doesn't put the dampeners on it one little bit. As I said previously, it's been about 18 months since, since I came to Redmire longer than that since I caught a fish from Redmire because that particular trip I drew a blank so to share the pool for these last couple of days with some really good friends and watch them realise their dreams there's been some epic fish caught this week it's been marvellous yesterday was a gorgeous day sunshine, carp swimming around on the surface it was like a proper summer's day stalking opportunities the night passed very very quietly just a couple of single bleeps and this morning it just faced with this rain but just kicking back now having some breakfast reflecting on the on the couple of days I've just spent at what is definitely my favorite place and looking forward to the next time I can come back